<sighs> Hi, my name is Hat. For those of you that don't know me, I created a webcomic online called Adventures in Gay that was about coming out of the closet, and now I make videos on YouTube. I receive questions from young closeted individuals on a daily basis asking me what is the best way to come out? And I figured I would create a video, discuss my thoughts on the process, as well as relay some information that I wish I would have known when I was younger and when I was still in the closet. I am posting this video on October 11th, which is National Coming Out Day. And foremost, let me start by saying that while I appreciate a day to acknowledge the act of coming out, as well as the bravery of those who have done so in the past, particularly of previous generations, uh, by no means should anybody feel obligated or pressured into coming out today. Coming out is an incredibly personal experience and process, and it's something that we should maintain control over for ourselves in order to dictate how and when it's going to occur. Well then, when do I come out? And how do I come out? And what do I say? The truth is, nobody can answer these questions for you. And it's something that we've all had to figure out for ourselves. And yes, there are a ton of courageous coming out stories that people have shared so selflessly right here on YouTube. And it's great to watch these and to understand that we are not alone in this struggle and there are other people who have gone through the same things and come out of it. And while it can be very comforting to watch these videos, the reality is that no two coming out stories are the same. Everyone who goes through this process does so under a unique set of social, economic, and cultural factors that weigh heavily on their decision, as well as even more personal factors like family dynamics, religious beliefs, and even living situation. So when people come to me and ask me, what do I say to my dad? What do I say to my mom? How do I tell them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know these people better than anybody else does, and you know the relationships you have with these people, and you're going to understand the dynamics of these relationships more than anybody else can or will. So ultimately what it comes down to is that when you are ready, you will know what to say and how to say it. When we talk about coming out, the most important thing is to decide for yourself what is going to make you the happiest because that's what matters the most. I didn't come out until I was 24 years old. And yeah, there were times I went back and forth and I thought about it in my head. But for the most part, I was content. And it wasn't something I had an urge to act on. I wasn't dating, I wasn't sexually active. And because of that, I felt no obligation to disclose that information and those feelings to other people. So I urge you to simply ask yourself, what is going to make me the happiest? Do I need my dad to know right now? Do I want my mom to know? Do I need my siblings to know? Do I want my friends to know? Do I want to date? Do I want to be sexually active right now? Here's the thing. There's no right or wrong answer to any of these questions. It all comes back to you and what you want and what is going to make you happy. Unfortunately, we do live in a world where coming out can have dire consequences on an individual's life and their livelihood. And I think it's very, very important to be realistic about those things. But, everybody deserves to be happy. So think it over and figure it out for yourself. What is going to make you the happiest? And when you know this, find the safest and healthiest way to achieve it. If you take only one thing away from this video, please let it be this. Over the last two years and my career posting comics and videos online, I've been fortunate enough to hear thousands and thousands of coming out stories from people all over the world. Some that were inspiring, some that were funny, some that were mundane, uh, some that were good, some bad, and some that were utterly uh, heartbreaking. But across the board, Regardless of age, sex, gender, race, religion, everybody that I've heard from, even those who were met almost immediately with economic and social hardships, even those individuals have told me that after coming out, they were happier. And while there may be no guarantees that it gets better, um, I can assure you that without a doubt, 
you get better. And that's what I want for you. I just want you to be happy. Please, if you would be so kind, uh, share this video on your Facebook page, on Tumblr, on Twitter, uh, anything you can do to help make this video visible. The reason being, the people who need to see this video and the people who need to hear this information won't seek it out on their own. Uh, I know that because I've been there before. I was in the closet, and when you are in that mind frame and in that mentality, you desperately avoid any discussion or even acknowledgement of gay out of fears of being outed or accused of being gay. So anything we can do collectively to spread this and make it visible in the hopes that it just happens to land in front of somebody who needed to hear it and needed to see it, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much in advance and I wish you nothing but happiness. Thank you. I can't because I'm not attracted to women. I did not think I was going to get this emotional. <laughs> Hold on. I got I got a sound effects machine just in in case I'm crying.